tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study in my vision and she ain't from the city. And she ain't foreign and she boring. Love the way you twerk it, shawty. Throwing money on her own, I call it independent, shawty. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsports 7, staring at that Kia Stinger that we did build last time. Now we are back here to do a full build on this Stinger, full cage and everything because uh, I went to the auto show this weekend and saw this amazing build by West Coast Customs on that Kia Stinger. Uh, it looks so sick. I wish we could do the wide body on the car in the game, but that gave me the... Uh, wants to get back on here and do a full blown out build on that stinger to get a chance to sit in the car it is absolutely amazing on the inside they did an amazing job with this car so we are here to fully build this thing up and uh do a full blown out build on this stinger so we are gonna have to up our tires i know to we're gonna up them to a sport tire and then we are gonna go with some um, mm, 305s uh we'll do 285s in the rear and then we are gonna do some 255s in the front we are gonna get some nice looking wheels for this i did like the wheels that were on the stinger in the auto show but we can't find those here but we can find something close to it it is like a five spoke split. So we are gonna see if we can't find a rims that are close to that. That's a six spoke split. I thought we were to find it right away. Uh, those are kinda close, but not close enough. I think these HREs are gonna probably be the closest wheels we can find. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go with these HREs. They look pretty sick. We're going to uh, we can't up the size on these? Oh, well then. And we do have everything else built. Let's check out, we're not gonna do the Forza or the wing. So we got all of that in. So now we gotta go in here. We gotta throw a roll cage into this car. And now we gotta go see what kind of power we can get. Let's see what kind of motors we can change into this. We could do a V8 and we could do a V10. Uh, I think I want to try and do this with the stock motor, but fully tuned. So, see what we didn't add to this car last time. I believe we just added cams. And we're going to do some valves. We're at 454, or 445, sorry, excuse me. 474. 494. And this is where we go up to 700 horse with our twin turbos. Uh, we got our intercooler and everything installed. Oil cooler. We're going to install 719. So we are at 719 horsepower on this Stinger. So definitely uh, a pretty high power from what we were running before. I don't think we're going to have to change the tune. But uh, we are definitely going to paint this car and see if we can't get a close to that almost blue I don't think it was the factory blue, but that factory blue looks sick. So we're gonna go with the factory blue, and then we are gonna go with some uh, some chrome wheels on this car. Steel polish, nope. We're gonna go with, do we have a chrome chrome? There we go, chrome chrome wheels, chrome HREs, saves design catalog. I think we're going to send this real quick to do a quick test with the tires and the power change before we head to an online session. Did have a lot of fun. The last online session I ran with the, the R31 almost taking that first place. Hopefully we can maybe get a first place here today. I'm not entirely sure, but we are definitely going to try. So we are going to change this track probably to... Uh, we're going to run Maple Valley full. We're gonna go in there, head in there. So the Kia Stinger at the auto show, once again, was amazing to see that fully done up one as well as the ones they had on the showroom floor. Um, the ones they had were the all wheel drive versions. Um, they do come factory, I believe. Rear wheel drive and you have to get the all wheel drive option if you want it. That one on the podium was actually rear wheel drive. So uh, that car is beyond 
amazing. I wish I could get in that car and get that car sideways, but I think this is going to be the closest we're going to get to this. So we're going to get our wheel hooked up, our G920 with our NRG Innovation 350 millimeter wheel on our AM Studio adapters. There we go. Uh, we got to switch our handbrake. I totally forgot. That would have been that would have been the worst moment ever. Gone and tried to e-brake into the first turn and realized that I still had it set to X for need for speed payback. So that would have been bad. All right. So here we go. Kia Stinger Sport tires, 700 and some horsepower. Oh, listen to that. Full build on this car now. Let's see what we can do with this now. I've been playing payback for a while, so I gotta get back into this, but I think we're good. Listen to that turbo on this car. So I think we gotta make a quick adjustment, but uh, I think we're good. We're gonna quit the race, and then we're gonna make a quick adjustment, and then I will try and find an online session. So we're gonna make that adjustment first. Change the tires. And then I believe we're gonna bump this up a little bit. And that down. All right, that's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna change anything else. So now that we got this all set, I'm gonna try to find an online session. So I'll catch you guys when I find one. And uh, we're gonna get this thing sideways in the online session, see what we could do. All right, so we did find an online session with two seconds remaining. We're gonna see where we're gonna go next. We're gonna try and vote for our next track. What are we looking for? Brands Hatch in the Rain. Virginia, no, I don't wanna go to Virginia. So I guess we're just gonna to go to a random track and do a random selection. Let's see where it's gonna send us. We are rocking our Kia Stinger here. We got some other guys rocking some BMWs. 1986 BMW. We are going to Road Atlanta. All right, I can deal with some Road Atlanta here for this lobby. So let's check out what everybody else is running. We got 240, Pontiac, Sylvia, M4, ooh, Forza Edition, 87 GTR, E30, 911. That is not a drift car. It's not drifting if you're in a Porsche. Number five BMW 125 race car. Uh, I have a feeling this could go bad very quickly, but we're here to send it. We're here to send the Stinger and uh, see what we can do here uh, with this Kia Stinger on an online session. I think it's time for a little driver gear change maybe. What do we got, anything interesting? What is this? Be mine. Must've been one of the new driver gears I got for Valentine's Day, so screw it. I know it's late. It's not Valentine's Day anymore, but uh, I do love this car, so why not? Get our wheel cam turned on and uh, send this Kia Stinger here in the online session. Looking to just try and get some good good drifts going, maybe some tandems. But like I said, um, not expecting too, too much because it looks like there might be some rammers in here. But uh, hopefully we can get a good run. So we are pretty far to the back. Look at those exhaust ticks wiggle. I'm gonna try and... Looks like we might not be too bad. But then again, I say that, but we may end up being screwed. First turn in. Trying to get as many points as we can through the section, but also just trying to... Oh, wrong gear. Wrong gear. I didn't realize I was in fourth. I should have probably paid attention to that. We're not doing too bad. This Stinger is handling pretty well. Ooh, I thought we were going to lose that. Kia Stinger is actually handling a lot handling a lot better than I thought it was going to. Ooh, don't hit that man. Man is in first. Why am I always right behind the guys that are in first? So now we're gonna come into the downhill entry. These guys are throwing some nasty entries in here. Try not to hit anybody. Here we 
go. Probably could have done a lot better, but I didn't want to hit anybody because I saw a lot of people there. Oh my, there goes an RA trying to smack into everybody. Don't hit that GTR. I feel like that might be the same GTR as last time. Tighten the wheel a little bit, it was feeling a little bit shaky. GTR running wide, try to cut inside so we don't hit him. I don't remember to change our gear this time. There we go. Don't lose our points. Try not to get hit. Get out of this. Oh, there's two GTRs rocking in tandems. Apparently, everybody was rocking those R31s when they came out. And there he is. I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. I was just waiting for it. I knew when I saw an R8 that it was not going to be a drift car. So it was bound to happen sooner or later. Problem with online hoppers. You, know, you have those guys that can't drift and they just want to, you know, wreck you because they don't know how to drift. So they want to ruin it for everybody else. Don't on ghost. Please don't on ghost. Thank you. I feel I'm about to get hit by somebody. No. Oh. We got an ice charger? We got Dom in here? Ooh. We got Dom in the ice charger as well. Try to do a flick entry here. There we go. That was nice. Did not think that was actually going to work, but it did. I hear a race car behind me. And I'm a little nervous. This stinger though, getting sideways. Uh, he was not a race car. But he was the car that was right behind me in points. But like I said, I'm not gonna get mad if people hit me in an online session if they're trying to drift and get tandems. Now, the people that are running race cars in online sessions, them I might get a little irritated with because now that's just not right, you know? Just because you can't drift doesn't mean you gotta ruin it for everybody else. That was a really nice entry, too bad I cut the grass. This stinger getting down here at Road Atlanta! Until we throw it too far. A little clutch kick. I mean, not as good as performance is our other session with that R31, but then there's a Zonda that's going to wreck people. I knew he was going to do it. Or not. Maybe he was drifting. He just has a really fast car. Trying to get some slides with this R31. I saw caution ahead and I kind of got scared but we're good I remember when I could not drift road Atlanta to save my life I couldn't drift any of these sections we're gonna lose everything there maybe not I think we did I don't really know but you know what we're just having a little fun getting sideways in this stinger Ooh. haven't really drifted road Atlanta much so this is definitely a good time gonna be trying to get this entry here more and more with ESDA you know gonna be running at road Atlanta so oh boy why did I lose the points I was only one tire off ah get wrecked just gonna let that happen so Kia Stinger, fully drift build. Not bad car. Maybe might do a little bit of a tweaking, but it's pretty stable as it is. And I was wrong. I guess that man in that Porsche is drifting. I guess I was wrong when I said it's not drifting if you're in a Porsche. 
Long E break grab. Take in the fourth. There we go. Did he lose it? I think he did. There we go. Oh, that was too much. But see, why didn't we keep our points? I was able to stay on track with that too. But Forza said, no, you lose all your points. Oh, I don't know why I looked back. I was curious if that was a car behind me that was going to wreck me. So, I think that's going to do it here for this episode here on Forza Motorsport 7 with the full blown out build on this Kia Stinger. If you guys like it, you want to see more. To go, don't forget to comment and tap that like button because I do appreciate all the support. That's a pretty nice entry. Until so right there. So until next time, guys, you guys know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. And as always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'm out.